Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do a flip through of Flash Kids Math Skills Grade 2. Um, I'm pretty sure I did one for first grade, like about a year ago, I'm pretty sure, when the twins used it. And if you watch my recent second grade homeschool update, I mentioned that we'll be using this when we are done with book one from Horizons Math. And this will be more of a review because I, you'll see it if you use Horizons. Um, it's super advanced, so this is more of a review for them. They already know, like, 90% of the stuff that's in here. The only thing I know, well, I'll show you in a second. It's, like, in the back that they never learned before. Um, so it's going to be more of an introduction. So I purchased this on Amazon. It cost me, like, five-something. It was on sale. I'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper in um, Christian Light. Christian Light? Christian something. That, that like, homeschool store. I forgot what's the name. It's Christian something, but you can get it for like a couple pennies cheaper than Amazon. Um, but yeah, this is the book. Let me move this around away. Um, the front, this is just some stuff that it covers. This is the back. You can pause the video and read it. I really like Flash Kids. Um, this is the original price. But like I said, I purchased it for like five something. Um, I really like these books for Flash Kids does a great job for introduction. Oh, okay, here it is for introduction or review. It is not a standalone curriculum. So I don't recommend you to like purchase this and say, okay, this is my curriculum for math because this doesn't teach. It's pretty much just like I said, review. Um, let me get this one because I have writing on that one. So I don't really want you don't know, want you guys to see a new one. Um, but like I said, it's not. A curriculum that you would use by itself here's the front again pause it if you will like and this is the table of content so it has seven units the unit one covers counting and place value unit two covers addition unit three covers subtraction unit four covers money five unit five covers time Unit 6 covers geometry, and last one, Unit 7 com covers measurements, and then they have the answer key. Um, there's 128 pages. Here's the view if you guys want to stop the video. So, I'm just going to go through it. We're not going to, we're actually going to start using this um, Friday next week. So, we have not started at all. Really colorful. Really nice. I really like it. Not sure if I mentioned it, but I used their first grade one and I really enjoyed it. So that's why I picked up this one um, because I knew that we were going to stop um, when we finished book one for Horizon and we we're going to take a break. But I didn't I couldn't find a curriculum that reviewed everything because most curriculums are either super expensive um, and I didn't want to buy like a full curriculum because we already had Horizons. So I wanted something pretty small that didn't cost that much money. And I looked into Singapore, but um, I don't know. Singapore is it's not my favorite. Super easy. So the way that they would do it would be these two pages. So like this would be one day of work. This would be the second day of work. You could do one page a day, but um, we're going to be doing two. This is the review um, at the end of each unit. It has like sort of a review. You can do it as a test. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but this is the first review. Then we have unit two, which covers addition. Pretty simple. It starts like this. And Monique and David are way past this point. Like uh, back, not a backup, sorry. Horizon is doing like super complicated additions. But like I said, this would be a good review for them. So we're, we have done this before. Two digit edition. I'm pretty sure we're like in four digit edition. I don't know, actually. Let me see. Okay, so this is the type of edition that they're doing right now in Horizon. So this is super easy compared to what they are doing. Like I said, review. And I like how they show the child, like a little bit how it, you know, the steps. Really nice. My arm is hurting me. <laughs> um, okay. 
here we have regrouping, which the twins already know how to do. So again, review. Okay, this is something that we have not done, um, which is called use estimation. We have done estimation, but never like this. Um, so for example, they have to change each number to the closest 10, then circle the best estimate for the sum. Um, we never done this before, so this will definitely be new. I don't know if this is something that every curriculum has, but from what we have done, Horizons Book 1 for Grade 2 does not include that. Okay, this is the unit review. Then we use, we start unit three, which is subtraction. Again, super easy and colorful. Nothing difficult at all. I like how it starts easy, and then it kind of, you know, starts actually getting into second grade. Um, here we have fact families, pretty easy. Two-digit subtraction. My kids aren't, well, Monique is. She likes coloring, but David doesn't. So he, I bet, will only, like, answer the questions, and he won't color it. He's not into that. Okay. Just going to show you a page here. I like also how they, like, separate the numbers for the child can know that, you know, to keep that number over here. Because some kids don't. They kind of, like, put the seven and more in the middle. And you want them to learn to put it in a straight line. Which Monique and David already know how to do. But, again, nice review. Here we have two-digit subtraction with regrouping. Again, they show you step-by-step, step, which is super nice. These activities like these, where they tell you to match. I'm not a big fan of these. I don't know. I don't like a bunch of, like, messiness and lines. So, the only thing I will have them do is just answer it. I don't like matching in all these problems. Okay, here's the unit three review. Super simple. Then we hit money. The thing with Horizons, if you're planning on using it, we have used, well, Monique has, not David, but Monique has used grade one and now she's using grade two. And Horizons does not really cover um, time and money, like, a lot. They review it here and there, um, but they will go, like, weeks without doing time and money. Um, so be careful with that if you're planning on using Horizons. Um, your child may, what's it called, lack money and time. So I'm really happy that this book kind of, you know, covers it a little bit. <clears throat> And the coins don't look perfect, but they're okay. Also, this we never done stuff like this before, so this would be a um, excuse me. This will be new. This is right. Two different ways to buy each item. But the thing is, like uh, to me, I'm like, oh my god, this is so new to them. They never have done this. But then I give them the work, and it's super easy for them. So I'll update you guys eventually on this book if you do two pages so if you do two pages every single day um five days a week it would take you 60 days to finish it i wrote it here you could do more a lot of kids may want to do more here's unit four review then we hit time like i said i like this because it's not like overdoing it with time it spends like a unit in time and a unit in money and then they move on. I like that um, because I don't want them to constantly be doing time in every single page um, because they already do that in Horizons. So this is more like mastery, but not really. Time is another thing that, like I said before, the twins need a little bit more practice on, specifically David, because again, we don't go over time too much in horizons here's the unit review pretty short time then we have geometry excuse me we have not gone gone over perimeter in horizons book one but they will in book two so this will be more of an introduction which is super easy i perimeter is super easy to understand we've never done anything like this either so this will be cool for them here's the unit review and 
Then we hit measurements. We have done stuff with rulers, so they're pretty good with it. Okay, this is another thing we have not done. Um, Horizons um, is going to introduce it in book two, but I don't really care for this, so I'm, I won't be teaching it. Um, I don't find it, I don't really know how to teach this. I don't, even me, I don't even know how to do like these like cup pins and quartz. So yeah, no thank you. I am not going to be doing that. So they would not, I don't, that will be more of an introduction, but we won't be doing it in Horizons. Here's the review for unit seven and the answer key in the back. So that is the flip through slash a little bit of review of math skills. Um, like I said, I found this on Amazon. It's a great introduction. If your child is going into the second grade during the summer, you can do this to sort of introduce something. Or maybe your child is behind in public schools and you want to review some stuff, this is good. Or if your child is finishing second grade, this is also pretty good um, to review. Really colorful and really simple. You can have your child do more than two pages a day so they will finish this curriculum quicker, but I'm only doing two um, pages a day and like I said, they'll be finishing this in 60 days. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.